This book is called Night Watch and it's by Phil Cummings and Janine Dawson. Night Watch. Giraffe, elephant, hippo and baboon all lived by the lake. Every day, giraffe stretched lazily to reach the very tops of the trees. Munch, crunch, munch, crunch. Elephant stood in the mud, tossed his trunk in the air and trumpeted loudly. Ba-da, ba-da! Hippo rolled and tumbled in the water. Splish, splash, burp. Baboon drummed a wild rhythm on his chest. Boom, boom, boobity, boom. The neighbours all lived very busy lives. And apart from a polite nod of the head, wave of the trunk, swish of the tail, or gruff grunt, they rarely spoke to each other. One day, as the sun was setting, Giraffe spied a shadow on the mountain by the lake. Prowling, creeping, stalking, sneaking. Giraffe stretched her neck to see what she could see. Lion, she gasped. She crashed through the bushes and bounded off. Lion slunk away, but he would be back. When morning came, Giraffe told Elephant what she had seen. Elephant told Hippo. Hippo charged out of the water and told Baboon. What will we do, she cried. Baboon sat and pondered. He tapped his hairy chin and rubbed his snout. Then after a while he said, I've got an idea. The neighbours huddled together as Baboon told them his plan. Everyone was impressed. Baboon was smarter than he looked. That night, in the silver moonlight, Giraffe spied a shadow, prowling, creeping. Stalking, sneaking. Shh, lion. Everybody get ready. The neighbours moved quickly into position. Then, as lion crept silently closer, baboon whispered, Psst! Lion looked up and leapt into the air. He had never seen such a beast, and the noise it made was horrible. Munch, crunch, boom, boom, boobity, boom, ba, 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 (gasps) Terrified lion turned and ran. Giraffe, elephant, hippo and baboon danced with delight. (laughs) The next morning, the sun rose as usual, and after a friendly nod of the head, a wave of the trunk, a swish of the tail, and a grin and a grunt, the neighbours all went about their business. But that night, in the silver moonlight, they all met by the lake, and when they spied Lion lurking in the distance, they laughed because they knew there was nothing to worry about. But nervous Lion wasn't so sure. And that's the end of the story.